that I woke up crying. And I didn't remember what dream I had. But then I went online and I saw that the UN climate change chief said that we have two years to implement nature changes to stop the climate apocalypse. It didn't feel like a coincidence. I know that I'm just a stranger on the internet that you don't know the life of, unless you've like seen my content or read my memoirs. But all the things that I talk about, I talk about because I've lived the torment of something around them. Whether it's environmental injustice and racism connected to everything going on to this day, the way that we all don't have what we deserve to live and, and thrive, the precautions I take to keep from getting COVID, the fact that I've been vegan for 15 years after numerous experiences of sexual assault, because I learned enough about the industry to know what happens, and I can't take part in that after feeling how I'd been made to felt. These things are all connected to a colonial capitalist logic and practice. Your lifetime is a form of knowledge of the harm the system inflicts on all of us in unique ways. We need to make massive changes. We are not going to survive if we don't make massive changes in the next two years. I have been saying that for years. Every single fucking video about any sort of environmental injustice or catastrophe, I say we are hurtling towards the climate apocalypse because of colonial capitalism. I don't say that because I don't know what I'm talking about. I know I look like an average person, and I am an average person. <laughs> but I also have specialties that involve having done extensive research to look at these exact topics and understand how they're all connected. Well-intentioned people in isolation combine to create a system that is dehumanizing us and hurtling us towards the climate apocalypse. This is why when people ask me, well, what do we do? I am one person that can't possibly say, you, I know everything about your life and what you can do. You know that. You know what you can do. And if you don't, maybe it's time we start crafting some more blueprints to talk about the ways that you can individually take actions that push back against a system that we need to dramatically change in the next two years or else we will not survive. And that includes billionaires. I need everyone to understand that the things that seem like they may not be harming us are in fact harming us in tandem. I need people to understand that over a short period of time, it may not look like those harms are being inflicted on each other, but they are. I need people to understand that even though things like COVID and H5N1 and the climate change are not happening immediately, it seems to all of us, they are in fact happening every single second and we can do things to change that. We also need to understand that the people in leadership positions right now are completely ill-equipped to do that. They are so deeply built into the system and the logic and practice of what is currently done, they don't have the ability to make the changes that we need. They're just unwilling, even if they have the ability. That is the major part of the equation that needs to change, the willingness to do it. We will not make it out if it doesn't happen. I don't know how many times I need to say that, but here I am again on this day in which the UN climate change chief is a finally a fucking agreeing with me. Don't lose hope. We've never been more connected. We have all lived the violences of the system in our own ways. We can build something better. So today 